Uh, Alright, so I made another one. Hopefully you guys like this. So I answered some specific questions in the last video. So just click on the uploader's comments to see what I've already explained to people. So I recorded this right after I got back from rugby practice. So my hair is just pretty much dry and unstyled. Uh, that's just what it looks like. So I use Conair brand clippers. These are the cheapest ones I found at Target. Uh, clippers don't matter too much as long as you oil them. So that's the number one guard. And what I'm doing is clicking the blades forward. I'll use this to fade. Uh, you'll see that I'll gradually click the blades back away from the guard as I progress. And right now I'm cutting my shortest length on the sides. I'm rich, bitch, but you can call me cheap the ripper. Shell toes, yes. PRPS. There's a man riding a horse on top of my chest. Polo fresh. I am Ziman. I'll be slam ducking tank. Uh now I'm going to the second shortest length. Okay, roll past Dave, told him hello and hey, me and Cash and something old on 23's hold back window, save my mama Mel Beacho. Skateboarders. Uh, now I'm at the third shortest length, and that's just three clicks from where I began with the blades. Wanna first put up a stack of quick calling. Thirties on my Chevrolet, call me super duper. Garage like roots, I got more whips than Kucha. Riviera sitting on the floor. That's a number two guard. Y'all still riding twenties, y'all some Oompa Loopers. Don't swing on niggas, they got bad behavior. My four feet. Teens woke up the neighbors. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> already know what it is. Street Stars Radio World Famous. Uh, now I'm just cleaning up the sides for any stray hair that got through. back with the number two guard the back isn't too difficult you just need to get down the muscle memory and that just comes with practice So now I'll be doing no guard, and that's to clean up the hairline on the back. So here I'm using a number one guard with partially extended blades to cut the back of my hair. It's the same area, I just cut with the number two. Here I'm using number three guard to reduce some of the thicker and fluffier hair towards the top back of my head. I'm planning on using scissors for the top, so I'm getting my head wet here. Uh, here you can see just how my hair grows. The divide is where the hair is growing straight upwards, as opposed to my heavy bangs which lay down on the wet. And you can see I've cut my bangs a lot since the last video. Now I'm just using scissors to shorten the top. If you have thinner and flatter hair, you probably won't need to do this too often. So here I'm showing you the sides of the top have more hair to allow the top to blend with the sides. You know, lots of newcomers to this make a mistake by cutting this part away. And then you kind of end up with a high and tight or a really wide mohawk. So now I'm going through the scissors and evening the blend with the sides.
So here I'm just cleaning out the temple apex. Just gives you a cleaner look. And I just like when the sides of my hair touch my ears. Uh, lots of military guys don't like that either. So I just make sure it's clean here. And here's what it can look like with just a little fingertip full of matte paste. Alright, so I hope this helps some of you guys. And a shout out to F.A.